everybody, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, and I want to talk to you about how God is both a table flipper and a table setter. You see, it's the dual nature or the double-edged sword of God. God is both justice, but he's also mercy. God is both gentle and kind, but he's also a warrior heart. And many people don't understand this. They'll ask and say, oh, the God of the Old Testament, I don't like him. I'm PC, I'm tolerant. This is not okay with my values. But the God of the New Testament, this lovey-dovey, hippie Jesus, I like that version. Well, let me tell you, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he does not change. He's the same in the Old and the New Testament. In fact, it is one whole covenant. And I believe right now, God wants to reveal who he actually is in this hour. So I want to talk to you about how God is both a table flipper and a table setter. And I believe God is going to do this for you. Can I get an amen? Here in Matthew 21 verse 12, the Bible says, Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he overturned, come on somebody, all of our justice warriors, all of our Deborahs. He overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. So God is a table flipper, which means he's a God of justice. He's grieved at many things in the church. He's grieved at the skirmishes, the breaches, the breaches in the spirit, the division, the lack of compassion, the immorality that's rampant, unbiblical processes, protocols. The Holy Ghost is grieved and God is not happy about many things. So even in midst of the world being in sin and the world being in doom and gloom and darkness, God is a table flipper where God is coming back one day as a rider on a white horse, not on a donkey, but he is coming back to overtake and to take over the world. God is a warrior and he has a heart of justice and righteousness. And the Bible says that he boils with passion, with zeal. That word zeal, he boils with the passion of Christ. That's where the word passion of Christ comes from. The movie by Mel Gibson. That word passion means to zealously, jealously be so in love like someone who's jealous. God says, my name is jealous, jealous for you. So God is a table flipper, which means in this season, God's about to expose all the enemies that are anti-Christ. God's about to slay. He's about to destroy. God's about to deal with the injustices in the church, in the media, big tech, corporations, globalists, elitists. God is shaking the nations of the earth. God is dealing with Jezebel. God is dealing with familiar spirits. God is dealing with hidden sin. God is dealing with pride in this hour. So God is flipping the tables. He's uncovering. He's exposing. God is shaking things right now. CNN will fall. Facebook meta will fall. Every organization that is antichrist and that have tried to censor Christians and control and fraudulently manipulate certain things in the American election system, it's going to fall. So God's a table flipper. Are you ready for justice? Are you ready for the hand of God to deal with this? For vengeance is mine, says the Lord. But at the same time, God is both a table flipper. And he's also a table setter. Are you ready for the Lord to set some tables for you? Are you ready for the Lord to prepare some tables for you to feast, wine, and dine, to celebrate, and to enjoy? It may sound like an oxymoron, like a double-edged sword, but God is both the God of mercy and judgment. Let's go to the word of God here, the verse, Psalm 23, verse 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, and you anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Are you ready for your cup to overflow? Are you ready for the head, which stands for the seat of government and authority, the headship of Christ? Are you ready for your mind, the mind of Christ, to be overflowing, anointed, 
with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible also says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. You prepare a table before me and my enemies. God is a table setter. He brings out the best china, the best vessels, the best vestibules. God brings out the fine things for this time. The word of God says in the book of Timothy, you can either be a vessel of dishonor or a vessel of honor. Miss Catherine Coleman would say, God is not looking for silver or gold vessels. He is looking for willing vessels. I pray that you would be a willing vessel for the Lord today. God is setting up tables for you. God is speaking your name in rooms, in green rooms, back rooms, to people of influence, people of financial favor, people of affluence who can help bring you up to the next stage and level of your life. God is setting up tables, but before he does that, many times, he needs to clean tables. He needs to flip tables. He needs to clean the house before the new blessings of whining, dining, feasting, abundance, honor comes. I want to declare over you, God is setting up tables for you, but he is also flipping tables that were set up against you. God is both a table flipper and a table setter. Expect the Lord to do great things in your life. In this season, the greater the shaking, the greater the awakening. God is both a table flipper and a table setter. He will do it, and he will do it with and for you. This is Dr. Ben Lim here. I pray that this short word blessed you today. Comment below if this word spoke to you, resonated with your spirit. And let me know your thoughts and your feedback and comments. God bless you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Get ready for God to flip and to set up tables for you.